What's going on guys, it's Bear, and uh, today I'm bringing you guys part 2 of my calligraphy logo tutorial thing. So, part 1 was me drawing it out, and uh, if you guys haven't seen that, please go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description for it. You guys can also check out my channel. If you guys are subscribed to me, it comes up in your activity feed, whatever it's called. But, um, part 2 is kind of the easiest part, it's just tracing it almost. So, what I did is I opened up a document on Photoshop of 1920 by 1080 and I just had the background white, which I'm going to change that. I like working on black backgrounds better. And for the logo, I just took a picture with my phone and then I sent it to my old Facebook so I can just like pick it up and copy it. But um, you guys can pretty much just scan it. That's probably another easy way is just scanning. Other than that, you can just take a picture and send it to you. But make sure when you take a picture, it's like on the top of it it's like an overview because if it's like sideways then it's gonna be a little bitch to copy and stuff so I'll just have that so I'm gonna do is just copy this and then just paste it into my document and then I can just make it a little bigger like that <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna be coughing a lot so pretty much once you have this you're just gonna make a new layer and then you can start to just develop it what I'm gonna do is take my brush and I'm gonna put it to about Let's get a size going. Maybe a little bit bigger than 10. Maybe like 13, maybe 15. And put the hardness to zero. And then you're just gonna take your pen tool. And then you're like pretty much just gonna take rulers and just line it up with the top part. And we're all gonna do the straight lines first. So. I don't need that. Where's the nice straight line? Right there. Um, I think that's it, all the rest are curvy. So pretty much just gonna put the rulers in the top where the straight lines are, and then with your new layer, click your pen tool, click in the one bar, oops, and then hold shift and click straight down. And then you just right click, stroke path with brush. And then you do the same for this side. And then this one. And that's it. So we have this line, so if you can just hide that, you have it coming along. Obviously, you guys can't really see anything, but it's going to come along. So the next thing we're going to do is just make a new layer, and we're going to zoom out a little bit, and we're going to go with the curve side, but we're going to go with bottom to top, because going top to bottom is kind of hard. So I'm just going to click here, and then click there, and just try to, like, actually, no. We'll click, we'll do this. This is easier for you guys. Take this and put a ruler in the middle of these lines. I can just take that and throw it put it up here, I guess. So you have like the, the curve. You can just click here and go like that. And then click there. And then right click and stroke path. Not with black though, make sure it's always white. And then you can just Control J that to duplicate it, transform, flip horizontally, and then you can kind of drag this one out. <coughs> and then we're gonna zoom in and just connect these. So you put one here, make a new layer. Like that. And then you can just minimize that and obviously fix where this comes along. So you just take a, pretty much an eraser, not too big, not too small, and then just erase like the curving, the curvingness of it. So you have that, you can just bring that back up. So now we're just gonna go to the straight line. So take our rulers back using control H. If you guys don't have rulers, control H to bring them up, control R to get the lines going. So I'm going to take this and put my one line here and my next one right there. So if you guys are watching this, it's pretty much all rulers and you're always going to use your brush. Um, you guys can use other stuff, but I recommend using brushes because I think it's easier to do. So pretty much just going to be tracing this. So Make a new layer. Make a new layer for almost everything. Because... Some of it's a really big of a pain in the ass to do. Mm. 
and then you do something if you gotta check it you just hit uh you just minimized your drawing go to it see what you did wrong oops i didn't make a new layer for that so i just take my eraser kind of erase that a little bit you can also just take your pen tool and just kind of curve it make selection delete make selection and then delete it again so you have that <clears throat> so now that you have that you can just start with the bottom so you can just bring this back up create a new layer click here and then just bring that out right click stroke path make a new layer click right here click the same spot and then it's right click and stroke path and then you can minimize it and you have your kind of logo thing so obviously <coughs> you guys can mess with things let's just say you want to take this and bring it in more just like that what you can do is just take take it and then delete it from here oh no I can't do that um, which one is it? It's this one. So, you can just go in. Let's just say you want these two kind of like fading in. You can just take your eraser. Just kind of fade that in. So, you just look at it. Be like, alright, see what you want to do, see what you don't want to do. And uh, you just go from there. So now that you have this, if you guys have unstraight edges, what you can do is merge these all. So you just have your logo. And you're going to hit control and then click, uh, like hold control and click in here. And then go to your dotted rectangle. Right click, make work path. And then it's going to create a path. Then you're just going to make a new layer. Use your pen tool and fill path with the foreground color, which mine's white. I don't know what yours is. And then you can minimize this. And it just straightens all the lines out that you screwed up on, but I don't like doing that. So you just have this, and you guys can just take out the curved edges, I guess. You can just take them and delete them if you want. So, that's all your preference and what you want to do. But, um, that's about it. It's probably the easiest thing to do. Uh, this is actually really easy to do, surprisingly, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want more tutorials, I'll be doing a logo tutorial, an actual one, not just a calligraphy one, but an actual logo tutorial very soon. And uh, keep your eyes out for that, that'll probably be in the next day or two. I haven't been in school like all week because I got tested for mono and they just didn't let me go back, so I'm making these videos. <coughs> so, that's about it. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, please let me know. Make sure to like and comment and subscribe. And hope you guys really enjoy this easy to. Oh my god, excuse me. This really easy tutorial. Obviously, I didn't get 25 likes yet. I probably will have it by the end of tonight. But I just want to bring this video out for you guys. So, yeah, that's about it. So, peace out, guys.